okay, boys, so we now have 100% proof. And I actually mean that pretty much literally. Uh, I think we have proof that Elon Musk is a shill for the New World Order. Um, it, now, we already kind of knew this. You know, just look at uh, some of his endeavors and, uh, and all of that. Uh, but look what he wore for Halloween. Oh, wow. What's this? It's a costume with Baphomet right at the chest plate. And then as well, you have an upside down cross. And the name of the costume, according to Elon Musk, is the Devil's Champion. Yeah, you can't make this stuff up. Uh, there are other people as well who have postulated the idea that Elon is the Antichrist that's kind of going out on a limb. But I think it's possible, you know, if there's somebody who wants to implant your brain with a chip that connects you to the Borg, an AI system, uh, that Revelations actually points toward as possibly the beast. Um, and then, you know, all of this. Yeah, it kind of does seem a little bit shady, if you ask me. And his recent purchase of Twitter kind of points toward nothing changing at Twitter in terms of free speech. Um, now, we don't know that for sure. Of course, you know, uh, we'll give it time. Elon purports to be a supporter of free speech. Uh, I mean... Actions speak louder than words, so we will see. But there are uh, employees at Twitter, like Yoel Roth, who is still in his position and in charge of monitoring uh, the censorship and the banning and the shadow banning still at Twitter. And they've even said that they're going to continue to enforce the uh, uh, hate speech uh, rules. They're going to continue to enforce... Uh, election interference rules, which these are just buzz terms and double speak for whatever we feel like censoring, we're going to censor. You know, they can claim anything as hate speech. Uh, Twitter was notorious the past uh, few months for claiming that the, the word groomers was a form of hate speech uh, because people were calling out these, um, pe uh, these teachers and, and, and just others, creeps, uh, grooming children to be sexual, right, at a very young age, introducing uh, pornographic material in the classroom, etc. And the term groomers was used to describe that. They claimed at Twitter that uh, it is hate speech toward LGBTQ plus uh, individuals, which is telling in and of itself that they would automatically associate groomers with, with that. But they said it was a hate speech tor term toward them. And anybody who said groomers on Twitter, uh, was banned instantly. Um, I will say this, as soon as Elon took over Twitter, I tweeted out the word groomers and it wasn't banned. So maybe there is some improvement happening. I'm not sure, but it does seem like um, it, it's going to be very minimal uh, in terms of uh, actual improvement. I don't think you're going to see Twitter be the Wild West. I thought maybe you would. It, Elon also tweeted that he's still working with the ADL, the NAACP, the Bush Foundation, and other groups that are very well known to be um, censorship arms um, advocating uh, for social media uh, companies like Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, etc., to ban whoever they deem as like hate or, or in, too anti-establishment, too fringe, right? So this is well known and I don't see much changing. So I, I just wanted to give an update on that. You know, when you have individuals like Elon Musk, flaunting in your face that he is uh, the devil's champion for Halloween. Like, look, I understand, like, for Halloween, sometimes he dresses creepy, weird things, uh, and it's like a joke. And with Elon, it, it might be kind of a joke, but at the same time, I think something is showing and speaking through. I think uh, when you have goals in mind, to hook humanity up to an AI uh, super system through their brain and mark everybody in the forehead, so to speak, uh, figuratively, um, and connect them all into the AI Borg. And then you're rolling out the electric vehicles. You have all these government 
uh, backdoor deals, um, having to do with the uh, carbon carbon emission, climate change pretext uh, as an excuse to take away your liberties and to insert us into a digital control grid with a social credit score and digital currency that is programmable. programmable. Uh, if you combine all that together, it tells me that Elon uh, is hi- hiding the truth in plain sight when he wears the uh, the devil's champion um, upside down cross, Baphomet, satanic Halloween costume. Uh, you could literally go with anything for Halloween, anything, anything. He could have, uh, you know, dressed up as, as a ghost. He could have dressed up as, uh, you know, uh, Jason, you know, uh, from Halloween or whatever, or whatever it's called, Friday the 3rd, I don't know. He could have dressed up as anything, but he dressed up as the devil's champion with the Baphomet and the upside down cross. That is telling. Um, and, uh, yeah, you know, t- the elite are well known to do things like this. This isn't, um, that far a- 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 of a conspiracy theory to say, like, you know, I- I- if, if, you're in a position like Elon Musk with the types of goals that Elon Musk has and the types of associations he has and the types of narratives that he props up. Um, yeah, it, it seems pretty suspicious. And by the way, the idea that Elon supports free speech, that's a good thing. I commend that. But at the same time, you know, that is an exception. Uh, if you look at Elon Musk holistically in what he supports. That's an exception. Uh, and by the way, if you look at guys like Bill Gates in the 90s, uh, when he was still a little bit new to the elite circles, 80s, you could even say, you know, he was actually pretty pro-free speech as well and a little bit anti-establishment in his rhetoric, rhetoric as well. I think that has, has more to do with a generational, more youthful spirit uh, then it has to do with whether or not the person is uh, establishment or anti-establishment as a billionaire. Um, you know, typically you're going to see younger billionaires going slightly more against the grain, even if they are bought and sold uh, and sold out to the World Economic Forum. It, you know, it, sh- it has more to do with a generation and, and, and Elon Musk's uh, youth. He's not that young, but for a billionaire, he's kind of young. Um, so, you know... Same thing with like Kanye West and stuff. You, I mean, billionaires are the new uh, feudal lords of our technotronic age, uh, and that's that's a, a new development. Um, if you've noticed, you know, uh, even 20, 30, 40 years ago, it was more the leader of a country that was, um, or the leaders, a group of leaders of a country that were the ones calling the shots and the ones with the cameras and the spotlights on them and the ones that had the most effect over your life. But now it's the billionaires. It's the Mark Zuckerbergs. It's the Elon Musks. Uh, it, it's the uh, Jeff Bezos, um, the George Soros's, uh, people like this that actually have the most sway over your life um, in, in your everyday life because it's all digital and it's all private. Uh, corporations uh, for the, that control the uh, the control grid essentially, um, and they have owners. So it's a really interesting thing. Um, yeah, I would not count on a billionaire to save you. We need to build a parallel, alternative, decentralized set of systems and break away. Uh, we have to form our own breakaway civilizations um, to get away from this new world order that they're trying to create this great reset. Agenda 2030 conspiracy. That's the main, that, that, that is pretty much the only way. Because look at, even if Elon Musk had good intentions, he's beholden to the advertisers and the people who, um, who will be in charge of uh, giving Twitter the revenue that they need to, you know, stay what they're doing, stay in business, uh, for the most part, you know, it's, it's not like, it's not like, um, 
these corporations exist on an island and they can do whatever they want. No, they're beholden to the system in many ways, even privately run. It's just the way it is, guys. It's time to wake up! Time to wake up! Ugh. I know what you think. It's been pros. Keep your head up. Stay real.